Well, we went out for a quick camping trip this week, and I brought the little 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel. Give it a little test run. This is the uh, Thunderbolt 100 watt solar panel, mono crystalline, max voltage 24 volts. So it's early in the morning, but I did manage to get pretty much full sun. Um, I did change the connectors on the back. It came with this kind of silly little connector, but I put the uh, well, MC4 connectors on it. And uh, see what we're getting out of it. Currently 9.6. 19.6 volts, 3 amps coming in, output 4.5 amps, so at 100 watts, should be able to get with really good sun up to 7 or 8 amps optimally. I did see it up to 5 or 6 briefly, but I think we're losing a little bit of the sun. Uh, but I'm running this with uh, EP Ever... Uh, which one do we got here? Tracer 2215BN MPPT. But uh, anyway, seems to work. Yeah, I do have a little bit of shade right now. Maybe I can move it a little bit now. See what I can get now. Oh yeah, there it bumped it up to five amps. Five point four. Anyway, there you have it. A little uh, oh, five point six, nice. So it does work. Um, I don't like the little connector they gave me for it. Let's see if I can find it and I'll show you what came on it. Uh, this little connector came on it. And that's what the Harbor Freight uses on most of their solar equipment. But uh, I don't like that one for this, so I took it off. I had one of these little kits. Uh, I don't know where it is now, but it came with a bunch of connectors. And uh, just makes it a lot more universal. I do have a 250 watt panel on the roof of the RV, um, but I haven't wired it in yet. And the cable I have wasn't long enough to reach, so that's why this is all just temporarily set up. I put some uh, jumper cable type clamps on everything just so I could hook it up to the battery for doing a little beta testing. Six amps, nice. So there you go. If you're interested in that panel, so far so good. Seems to work. Got little feet on it. You can prop it up. Ow. Uh, a couple of legs on the thing. A little bit extra cord, but uh, anyway, I just chopped off that cable and put those on. But, uh, okay, so far happy with it. And what I did, there was a 20% off coupon that you had available from Harbor Freight and everybody's complaining that there was nothing good to use it for. I decided to use it for that panel. So that made that panel like 80 bucks. I think that's a pretty decent deal. Um, can't do a whole lot better than that. You know, off of Amazon stuff, most of them are roughly, uh, you know, anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks. So that's about as good as you're going to get. Thanks for watching.